Hi kids, my name's Mrs. Home. Today's the fourth Sunday in Lent. During Lent, we're preparing for Easter, which is gonna be coming up in a few weeks. Today's lesson we're gonna read is called The Light of the World. We're gonna learn about a man named Nicodemus. Can you say that name? Nicodemus. That's right, Nicodemus. And we're gonna learn about that he went to talk to Jesus and he asked him lots of questions. And then we'll see why Jesus is called the light of the world. So do you ask questions? Sure, we all ask questions so we can learn things. We might ask questions of our mother or father or our sister or brother. We might ask what time uh, is dinner gonna be ready? Or we might ask what is that animal that we see out in the yard or out in the woods? And we might ask questions of our teacher about our schoolwork. So it's good to ask questions and that's how we learn things. So in our story, Nicodemus is gonna ask lots of questions of Jesus so he can learn more about God. Now, before we read this story, I'd like you to uh, first turn to page 416 in your Spark Bibles so you can follow along. Okay. And now I'd also like to ask for your help while I read the story out loud. Whenever you hear these four words, the words Jesus, love, light, or darkness, I'm going to ask you to do some American Sign Language. Now maybe some of you know sign language already. Sign language is used by people who can't hear and to communicate. So we're gonna learn sign language for these four words. And then you can do them whenever you hear that word while I'm reading the story. So the first word we're gonna learn about is Jesus. Now for Jesus, we hold out our hand and we take our middle finger, that's your longest finger, and we point to the middle, and then we take our other hand and point. That means Jesus, okay, can you do that? Jesus, let's try that again. Jesus. That's right. The second word we're going to learn about is the word love. And for love, we just cross our arms in front of us, almost like a hug. Love. That's right. Can you do that? Love. So that's a sign for love. The third word we're going to learn about is light. For light, we take our hand, we make a fist, and then we open it like this, okay? So we fist and we open it, light, light. And the last word we're gonna learn about is the word darkness. For darkness, we put our arms up like this and then we're gonna fold them in front of us, almost like a door closing, okay? In front of your eyes, darkness darkness. That's right. Okay. So you can see if you can do those signs why I read the story and when you hear one of those words. Now if you forget all of the signs or can't do them all, that's fine. Just try to do what you can or uh, just do it once during the story. That'll be helping. Okay. So here we go. I'll begin to read. The Light of the World. In the middle of the night, a man named Nicodemus came to see Jesus. It was a strange time to visit someone, but Nicodemus had many questions about God, and he didn't want to wait. There was a lot of talk about Jesus. Many people didn't believe Jesus, and Nicodemus wasn't sure what he thought about it all. He also wasn't sure he wanted anyone to see him. He knew that Jesus was talking about God in a whole new way, and some people didn't like it. That night, Jesus and Nicodemus talked of quite a while. They argued and wondered together about many things. Then Jesus said, really, all you need to know is that God loves you. In fact, God loves everyone. And it's important that you know this and tell everyone you meet. God wants everyone to know how much they are loved. 
Nicodemus, God loves this world and everyone in it so much that God sent me, his son Jesus, so that everyone could learn how much they are loved. God sent me to save the world, Nicodemus. I am the light of the world, Jesus said. I am all that is good and right, and God sent me to light up this world. Unfortunately, people sometimes like darkness better than the light. When we do terrible things, the light is not in us. When we are mean or hateful or horrible, the world is a dark, dark place. But when we do things that are good and right, when we love each other and help one another, God's light shines brightly in the world and God is glad. Okay, thanks for your help with the story today. And now you know a little bit about sign language. And you can use that when you go and tell everyone about God's love and how he loves everyone. Now, in today's story, Nicodemus had questions for Jesus. And did you know that you can bring your questions to Jesus, too? Whenever you have questions or worries or fears, you can bring your, those to uh, Jesus in prayer. Mm -hmm. That's what we do when we pray. And he'll always listen to you because he loves you. So let's review what we read. When was it that Nicodemus went to see Jesus? Do you remember? Yes, it was at nighttime. And why did God uh, send Jesus to the world? That's right, so we could tell everyone how much God loves them and to save the world. And why would the word light remind us of Jesus? What do you think about that? Why is Jesus the light of the world? Well, there could be several answers to that question, but he brings the light out of darkness. He brings us light so that we can know God better. That means we can understand and learn about God better. A light helps us see better, doesn't it? So Jesus is light of the world. He helps us see God better, doesn't he? And about how God loves everyone and wants us to be in the light and do what's right and to love one another. So Jesus is the light of the world. It's like if you're outside camping in the dark, and what kind of light do you use then if you're in the dark and you might get scared or you might have to uh, walk around in the dark? What would you use? You might use a flashlight like this. Mm -hmm. You might have one at home that you use. And how about if it's dark in your house and you want to read something? You turn on a light, right, or a lamp, mm -hmm. or the light switch on your wall. That's how you can get light so you can read. And back in Jesus' time, they used candles, like this one. They might light so that they could read at night because they didn't have electricity and lights in the ceiling like we do. Or they might use a lamp like this one. Mm -hmm. This was my grandmother's. And this has oil in it. And it has what's called a wick. It's a little cloth inside that goes down into the oil and they light that and it will burn. So those are different kind of lights that help when uh, it's dark. And we like that so that we don't usually want to be in the dark. We like to be in the light. And that's what Jesus tells us. And that's why Jesus is the light of the world because he, he doesn't want us to be in the dark either. He wants us to be in the light and to know that he loves us and that he loves everyone. Mm -hmm. So, and a little bit of love can brighten up a day too. So that's like the light. And the world becomes a little brighter when we show people love. For example, if you feel sad or, and then a friend or your dad or your mother might give you a hug, that brightens up your day, doesn't it? And if someone um, doesn't have anyone to sit by for lunch or anyone playing with them at recess and you went over and sat by them or went to play with them, that would brighten up your day, wouldn't it? You'd be bringing a little light to them and showing them that people do love them and that you can like them and play with them. Mm -hmm. So, do you think you can help light up the world? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Everyone can. And so why don't you this week think of ways that you can help light up the world, okay? So 
God answered Nicomias' questions and said that all you need to know is that God loves you and God loves everyone. And God is all that is good and right. And God sent Jesus to light up the world. And so everyone could see his light. And then we could all try to be like God's light by loving and helping each other. That's right. Okay, so we're going to close today with a prayer that's going to help us remember some of that. So this is a, kind of a finger prayer. So if you can hold up one of your hands, there you go, spread out your fingers. And we're going to close with the prayers today and you can join me for this, okay? So, dear God, please help me remember these things about Jesus so I can tell everyone about him. My thumb, here's your thumb, wiggle your thumb, is closest to me, right there. It reminds me that Jesus loves those who are close in my heart, like my family and friends. My pointer finger points up to heaven. That reminds me that Jesus is God's son. And my third middle finger, mm -hmm, that's the tallest finger you have. And that reminds me that Jesus is king. Mm -hmm. And then our ring finger, that's this one. And I have a ring on, I have a wedding ring on. And a lot of people who are married wear their wedding ring on that finger. And that reminds us that Jesus promised to be always with us. And then we have our baby finger. That's our smallest little finger way at the end. Mm -hmm. And that reminds us that Jesus loves everyone, even all the little children. That means Jesus loves you very, very much. Okay, so thanks for joining me today. And I hope you have a very nice week. And remember, God loves you.